Hi, I'm Psychic Chris Dufresne. Welcome to my channel. I want to take a brief moment here and just touch on spirit guides. What is a spirit guide? A spirit guide is an individual that is in heaven that marks and writes out your blueprint and your chart with you on the other side. We come down in this life and they are over there watching over us. Kind of like a police officer has a partner or a teacher has an assistant or a coach has an assistant coach. Same circumstance. They watch over us to make sure that we're staying on track, doing what we set out to do as far as our blueprint and our chart. Some of us choose to get in touch with our guides. Some of us choose to know that they're there and don't want to have anything to do with it. It's pretty much up to you. Mine kind of works a little bit more over time. Uh, as far as animal totems go, basically it's nothing more than an animal protector. It doesn't mean you have to have anything in common. If you're a bear, or gorilla, this or that and the other, doesn't mean you have to have anything in common with the particular animal. We just believe in animal protectors, a lot like the Indians do, certainly. Uh, my mother's totem would be an elephant. My totem would be a gorilla. My mom doesn't have anything in common with elephant, but she certainly loves and adores them, as I like gorillas too. So a lot of times it could be a rat, it could be this, it could be a dog, uh, but you really should do the research when you hear what your totem is and see what it is all about, because I think you'd be very surprised. Like for instance, a rat, people say, oh my God, how gross. But actually, in all actuality, that's a very powerful totem. So you should do your research before you would jump to conclusions and think, oh, I don't like this or I don't like that, because I think you'd be very, very surprised. During a reading, there's a lot of different subjects that we go into. Health, relationship, family, finances, career, spirituality. So I'll just pick one of these. Let's take health, for instance. Now, certainly I'm a psychic, I'm definitely not a doctor. So what I would do is give you the layman terms of something. I will see certain things going on throughout your system and I'll always ask you to get those things checked out by the doctors. And um, like I said, we don't get the medical terminology per se, but we do get the layman's terms. Enough information that you can go to your doctor and say, look at this, look at that, and then you get the help that you need to rectify that. There are several different types of readings. There's a half hour reading, there's an hour reading, there's a Chris on call reading, there's ask Chris questions. Um, and basically we try to tailor it to whoever is interested in having a reading in the first place. For instance, most readings, if not all, but most, can be done just in a half an hour time. Although there's certain things that are outside the box, for instance, like if a person's just very busy with life, they have six or seven businesses, they're going through a divorce, they have legal issues and lawyers all over the place. I certainly can only talk so fast. That type of person might be more interested in an hour reading because there's just so much there. I personally came up with the Chris on call. Why? Because I'm psychic for 38 years, really my whole life and 54 years. And if I was seeing a psychic, that's the way I'd want it done. And Chris on call is designed to where you can have me at three different times at 20 minute intervals, which equals 60 minutes. You can get on the phone with me and ask me. I have to get you to you that day. And you could take up the whole hour if you want, or you could take 20 minutes and then get some more questions later on and take another 20 minutes. And then maybe you want to call a friend and give it, gift it to them for 20 minutes. We have to have you on the phone, stay in that it meets your approval to do so. But it just allows you to see me three different times. And whenever you want to see me, I get on the phone with you that day. That's why I like that so much. And the ask us questions is you email me the, a question and I email it back to you in a certain amount of time. If I may have missed your question, you might want to look at it here because I believe hopefully I have answered it here for you. We have Jason Ward asking when he will meet his life partner. I think timeline on this will be, I would say October of next year. I believe it'll be at a party type of a atmosphere, which you never ever go to parties. So that should really stick out like a sore thumb. And I think you'll be introduced and I think the conversation will start strike up right away. But the chemistry and the connection will be there so I think you'll know it right away. Kimberly Mason asked, my daughter Sammy is looking for her forever love. When will this happen? She wants to start her life with someone as everything else. Okay, well, I do believe that she's going to marry twice ultimately. I think the second marriage is going to be successful and happy. I think the first marriage is good for about the first three to four years. 
And then I think that she wants out and I think that she will get out of that and get into a long-term life mate marriage. So the first situation comes in, I believe, in the very first part of 2022. Lauren Chachowski asks, my question is, will I be happy and healthy? And I also paid it forward by buying a care package for a homeless man. Thank you for the paying it forward. We do appreciate that. We love to hear those things. Um, I think your autoimmune system is down. I think it's building back. I think your iron level is a little low. And I do believe that you're starting to get a little bit dehydrated. So I would look to those things and take care of that with your nutrition, the water, all the good stuff. And yes, I think you're healthy. I think you've got good genetics. I think you're going to be definitely okay. We have Kimberly Catronis asking if you can give details on her future husband. Um, don't know his name, but I could give you a description. Uh, that would be auburn hair, uh, goatee, much thicker than mine, uh, light hazel eyes, uh, stocky, uh, husky kind of a build, larger bone, uh, about six foot, six foot one. I believe that uh, in construction does very, very well. And uh, I think he's healthy, and I think he's uh, a man's man, so to speak. We have Nancy Ross. Asking, my son is getting married July 15th. Do you see them in a church in a reception then following? I believe that it would happen that way, yes. I think it's going to be very difficult to get all that together because of everything that's going on. But I think you'll be able to pull it off and make it happen and ultimately be a very happy and very positive experience. Brenda Legrone asks, do you see my son being really successful as a YouTuber? Um, I think if he's willing to stick it out and dedicate the time and just just keep going and having fun with this and enjoying this and just not looking at the numbers constantly because he'll burn himself out and won't want to do it in the next three to four years. So if he keeps the the energy level up and just takes this, you know, as something that he enjoys and loves as a sideline and then he has a job and also does this too that would be the way to go to keep him from getting burned out and keep the enjoyment to him with this. So he'll do well if he goes about it that way. Okay, we have Andreas Soldenberg from Sweden asks if they will be healthy again. Yes, I think it's going to take you to about the end of summer to just build back everything, the antibodies and everything else that's going on. But I think you'll start to feel like you're alive again and and functioning again and have the stamina and energy so it's coming back it really is Sharon Lane asks Chris what is causing the swelling in my right leg I believe that that could have actually something to do with your hormones as far as your thyroid so I would get that checked out also the lower back there's a vertebrae that's there I think both of these combined are adding to the leg discomfort Chris Krzyzewski is a asked if they will ever get married yeah i do believe in time i'd give that a little bit over two years but to answer the question yes if you like what you see here and you like the video please like and subscribe and we're so excited to get all the merchandise out to you guys because we really think you're going to love it